So you're thinking about getting a white ink tattoo, huh? Cool. You came to the right place. We're going to talk about it today. Cue intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Xavier Price. I'm a professional tattoo artist. And if you want to join the tattoo family, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about white ink tattoos. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys what a white ink tattoo is. I know it probably may sound pretty uh, basic for most people, but some people might not know what a white ink tattoo is. Uh, it's a tattoo style that completely is comprised of one pigment and that's white ink throughout the entire tattoo. So now that we have it out of the way, let's talk about um, the, some of the pros of getting a white ink tattoo. Probably say the number one pro and probably the main determining factor for anybody trying to get a white ink tattoo would be that they are discreet um, because you know it's based on, it's a white pigment based tattoo. So it's gonna be less uh, visible, less noticeable than if the tattoo had been done with black ink. So if that's the reason why you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit more uh, low key that you can have out, um, you don't have to really worry about people asking about the tattoo or um, maybe it's a parent that might be a little overbearing and uh, not wanting you to get tattooed or maybe it has to be do with work related. That's another pro. Um, it's very good for a professional setting. So if you have to work in a corporate environment, something like that, and you want to get a tattoo that's uh, you know on the discreet side, then yes, white ink tattoo might be for you. Okay, so now we talked about some of the pros of getting a white ink tattoo. Let's talk about some of the cons. Um, probably the number one con of getting a white ink tattoo and the reason that the majority of tattoo artists would probably dissuade you from getting one and uh, probably try to get you to go with something that is uh, more black based is because white ink tattoos have a tendency to have a lower longevity than your traditional uh, black based, black pigment based tattoo. Reason being is because black pigment number one lasts the longest in our skin. It's a carbon based product. So that being said, it has lower longevity, so that's probably the number one pro, number one reason that any professional would probably tell you to not do that. Um, so second thing is like I said, they're prone to discoloration. They have a tendency to yellow or to turn more of a beige color due to the UV rays. Um, so that's another unavoidable thing. There are ways to try and sidestep that. Another way that you can try and uh, increase the longevity and to try and uh, stop the discoloration of the white pigment is by mixing it with another light tone, like maybe a light pink or light blue or light gray, something along that lines to try and stabilize the color from uh, discoloring. And another tip that you can do to try and boost the longevity and boost the visibility of the tattoo is by making sure the design has bold lines throughout the entire piece. That way it comes across with uh, stronger legibility to any viewer that might be looking at your tattoo. Um, so the next con about getting a white ink tattoo is that they don't really look like tattoos sometimes. Sometimes they look more like a scar or um, you know just uh, abnormality, a skin abnormality. And if that's what you're going for, if you want a tattoo that kind of resembles a scar, then you came to the right place and you're getting the right tattoo. But if you want a tattoo that looks like a tattoo, um, white pigment based tattoos definitely aren't the way to go. Um, the next con about getting a white ink tattoo is that they will never ever look super bright white. They just won't. Once they heal, you're gonna be looking at that tattoo through a healed layer of your skin. And it's always gonna have a more duller appearance and over time it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Now the pictures that you might see on Google, on uh, Pinterest or whatever, a lot of these pictures aren't even actually tattoos, they are white stickers that people are putting on their skins and they're wearing for you know extended period of time until they take it off. But if you want a tattoo that looks like a tattoo, 
that's white, just know it's probably not going to look like that. Um, and I'll put a couple examples up on the screen. All right. So the next con to getting a white ink tattoo is for the artist, you know, it's harder to tell if the level of saturation is where it needs to be than if it were just a regular tattoo. Because as you get a tattoo done, you know, there's a stencil that gets applied to the skin. And uh, that stencil is purple. And trying to tattoo white through purple, you're still going to be seeing that purple stencil through the tattoo. So it can be quite difficult to determine whether or not you know there's been enough ink deposited beneath the skin in a concentrated area enough to make a solid tattoo when it's healed. Um, so that means for the client, you might be coming back to the shop after it's healed, um, seeking a touch up or um, you know or a, a rework for the tattoo. It, you might be dissatisfied that way and it might lead to you covering it up or going back over it again with like black ink. So keep that in mind if that's something that you're interested in getting done. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my take on whiting tattoos. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, you know, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, you know, boost that algorithm so they're messing with the channel a little bit. Um, and hit the bell notifications so you can stay updated whenever I drop a video for you guys. And, you know, thanks for kicking it with me. That's it for me. Love, peace, and happiness. I'll see you in the next one.